it's a special Christmas experience that I had. And it actually happened last Christmas. We were working just outside the house here and uh, I had a severe accident with my hand. It crushed my hand so bad that I thought they were going to have to amputate it. Pain and doubt and uncertainty entered my life like never before. One evening I reached out to Heavenly Father and I, I asked Him to come into my life a little more and help me to overcome these three obstacles and, uh, and He did. The pain and doubt didn't completely leave, but uh, my pain medicine went down down to just about nothing. And uh, my time in the hospital seemed to fly by. And then the day before Christmas last year, I was scheduled to have my last surgery on my hand. And finally at eight o'clock that night, they came in and told me that the operation probably wasn't gonna take place until after Christmas. I prayed some more. <laughs> And I know my family was praying for me so that I could be home with them on Christmas Eve. And so about probably 11 o'clock, they came rushing into my hospital room, threw me on a bed and wheeled me downstairs and had the operation. So at two o'clock in the morning, they put the last stitch in my hand so I might be able to go home the next day. So to make a long story short, and a few miracles later, I finally walked through the door of my house at 8 o'clock that night and surprised my family. They didn't know I was coming. And it was the most wonderful experience that I'd ever had. The feeling of uh, Christmas was so strong in my heart. And, and, and the next day, I gathered them all together in this room here and and I told him, I says, I don't want in the future, when you look at my hand, I don't want you to see the ugliness of all the operations, but I want you to see the miracle that took place and how the Lord can come into our lives and ease the pain and take away, wash away our doubts, which he did with me.